I am Brittany Stotler. I am the VP of Marketing for Local Motors, and we are in our Knoxville microfactory. Our CEO, Jay Rogers, actually has a very good relationship with the Oak Ridge National Labs and the MDF. So with close proximity, we actually worked on a lot of projects with them, including the first world's first 3D printed car, the Strati. So um, we do use uh, 3D printers, everything from a small scale desktop printer all the way up to a huge large scale BAM. Um, so we can print 3D printed parts that will be going into some of these vehicles. The Ollie, we did a lot of that with. It, uh, we used a MakerBot and we, rather than having that lag time of waiting for a part to come in, we just got into the design program, we made our own part, and we're able to submit our own part into our engineering process. They were able to test it, outfit it, and then actually put it into the prototype vehicle. Um, so the guys here at the Knoxville facility actually focus on more of the material side of things. So they're printing with all sorts of different materials. Uh, all the vehicles here in the showroom that we have printed and showing currently are all a carbon fiber ABS plastic blend. Uh, but they're working with a huge laundry list library of materials materials for the, um, the interiors, materials for exteriors, looking at things for um, crash testing, what's going to be more durable, what's flexible versus you know, some of the more rigid materials. So we currently use the BAM as our tool to create our 3D printed car, as well as the parts of Ollie. So Ollie was the version that's behind me, is a fully 3D printed Ollie. Um, the original, the current prototype pilot program that's out is a component Ollie, we call it. So there are pieces to it that are 3D printed. Roughly about 30% of it is 3D printed. Um, but the carbon fiber ABS blend is used currently as like a base. And then on the product behind me, it is printed in two large pieces. So it's a top piece and a bottom piece. And then we actually assemble them here in the factory. Um, so they're able to cut down weight. They're able to cut down on time of production and able to cut down on material costs by using 3D printing.